Hey guys, I'm Joe, and I'm gonna show you how to use the Roly Airwave with Logic Pro. We're gonna do some recording and then some editing. So let's get stuck into it. So the Airwave works like any MIDI controller. We can record and edit using MIDI CC. Now, the cool thing is with our Airwave is that we have different CCs mapped to each different hand and to each different air dimension. So that means we have two for air raise, two for air flex, two for air glide, etc. And once we've got those mapped to the plugin or the software instrument of our choice, we can just start recording using the Airwave and our MIDI controller, for example, the Seaboard 2. So I've recorded the bass sound with Pigments by Arturia. So let's open that up and see what we've done. So for this sound, I've assigned slide to the wavetable position and I've assigned tilt to the phase mod. So I can move through the position of the wavetable using my hand and change the phase mod just like that. So there's a couple of changes I wanna to make to the thing I just recorded. So let's open up the MIDI automation in Logic. So let's double click on the track I just recorded to look at the MIDI. Then we press A for automation and then we just select the MIDI channel I recorded, which was 33. And there we go. That is everything I recorded with the Airwave in real time. Now I can use the pencil tool here to make some more changes if I want to sort of fine tune that curve. Uh, or I can just record it again using the Airwave. It's completely up to you. For the pluck track, I've assigned air raise to these two parts of the RC20 FX plugin. And I've done that using Logic's MIDI Learn by assigning MIDI CC27 to those parameters. And to edit that further, I can also just press A from this screen, change that over to region, and that's all the data that I recorded using air raise. Again, just using the pencil just to make some fine adjustments as you see fit. Also, if I want to change some of the EQ automation that I've recorded in this track, uh, we can just press A and see what the automation is there. Let's use the pencil and just adjust that so it's more of a wavy curve like that. And then if we open up the EQ and play back, you'll see that has responded to what we've just done. So that's how you use the Roly Airwave with Logic Pro. We've covered how to use it with Logic's built-in plugins, some third-party synths, and even how to use it as an effects controller. Now this just scratches the surface of what you can do with Roly Airwave in Logic Pro. So head over to roly.com to find out more, and I'll see you in the next one.